Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is a rise news analyst, Emmanuel Efeni. Good morning, Emmanuel, the good, great Malabai. Good morning, Dr. Bach. Good, good morning, morning, Mr. Seni. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Miss, Mrs. Myro Essay. <laughs> good morning, Mr. Yes, Fenny. Always to, good to see you. Yes, I had to remind some people because I was reading some comments about the weekend. That Ayo is gorgeous. Sha. Uh, well. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Now, let's start the review with this day. Thank you. You have against, against uh, compliments. <laughs> 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 Compliments without eye Please identity. focus on the newspapers. <laughs> I assure them. Uh, they can't just compliment like that. Uh, uh, shine it. Now let's start with this day. Nigeria's newspaper of record. The lead story with poverty, education, health in focus. Presidential hopefuls, more solutions at Arise Town Hall. Atiku, I will remove bottlenecks, wastages in government. Obi, I am ready to channel subsidy funds to, key, to the key sectors. Kwan Kwan So, ensuring financial autonomy for local government areas. Critical, yes, the third in the series of town hall meeting organized by Arise News in collaboration with the Center for Democracy and Development along with other media partners took place yesterday. And of course, the candidate of the PDP, Atikwa Bubaka, Labour Party candidate, Peter Obi, and the new Nigerian People's Party candidate, Rabiu Kwan Kwan So, were all in attendance. Of course, certain APC candidate, um, Asiwaju Bola Ametinbo, was respectfully invited, but he did not show up doesn't matter the justification or the reason being given. If you want to rule Nigerians, you have to talk to the people. And that was a platform provided. But those who showed up seized the opportunity to sell their ideas. Uh, quite uh, interesting to note that the three candidates there always had something to fall back on. When I was in Anambra, this is how we did it. In Kano, we did this, of course. When I was the VP, I was in charge of the local government. They had something to fall back on. What will they do differently uh, when, if any of these candidates is elected as president come February next year? That's what Nigerians want to hear, and Nigerians are listening. So, any opportunity provided for presidential candidates must be seized because you are not only honoring the media with its concern, obligation to do so, you are respecting the Nigerian people, you are asking for their votes. But not to show up, to give excuses, not good enough, clearly. Now, if we just look at how other papers are reporting this story. The, the Nigerian Tribune newspaper, yes, at the Rise TV Town Hall series, Atiku Obi Kwan Kwan Su reel out plans to tackle poverty insecurity. Atiku speaks on how to reduce poverty by funding SMEs and properly implementing SIP scheme. Hold federal government responsible for poverty level. Obi Kwan Kwan Su blames rising poverty on unabated security challenges. Tinimbu shuns meetings. That's how the Nigerian Tribune is reporting that story. Of course, also the Daily Sun newspaper is reporting that story. The Daily Sun, if we have it, yes. Atiku attacks Tinimbu over foreign trips. Of course, the presidential candidate of the PDP, um, making that statement there that the trip to London by Asiwa Yubola Metinbu is just to dodge the Arise News Town Hall meeting which took place yesterday. Now, let's look at other stories. Now, the Guardian newspaper, after 251 days, Abuja Kaduna Rail service resumes amid 6.6 .6 billion Naira losses. 
NROC, federal government only lost 113 million to Abuja Kaduna rail closure. Fair hike takes effect today. We increase fares due to diesel cost, improve security, says Ohiria. IGP assures of safety, deploys personnel en route, operational coaches. Experts insist not safe to travel by train unless there is aerial surveillance, armed drone patrol, Abuja Kaduna uh, Highway to be completed first quarter 2023. Well, the trend okay. will resume Abuja okay. Kaduna today. Well, Emmanuel, we hope it is very secure now. We'll be able to take from you. Thank you very much. We'll see you again tomorrow morning.